Now in this part, we're asked to simplify the root of 32 plus root 18, all divided by 3 plus root 2, giving the answer in the form b root 2 plus c, where b and c are integers. So I'd start off first of all with writing down an intro, which will be essentially the question here, root of 32 plus root 18 then, all over 3 plus root 2. Now in the previous part, we found out that the top here, root 32 plus root 18, turned out to be 7 root 2. So obviously we need to use that. And we also get a clue here that we've got to express everything in the form root 2. Now when it comes to the denominator here, let's just put down what we've got, 3 plus root 2. But we need to rationalize this, get rid of this denominator here. And I've shown you in previous videos on this that when you get a fraction like this, you can times it by essentially 1. It doesn't alter the value. But how we form this one is by taking these two terms here and switching the sign in between them and multiplying top and bottom by, in this case, 3 minus root 2. So our 1 is created by 3 minus root 2 divided by 3 minus root 2. So essentially, we're multiplying top and bottom, as people say, by 3 minus root 2. This is 1, doesn't alter the value of this fraction, but it will alter the appearance of it. So let's see how it does alter that appearance. So on the top, okay, if we multiply 7 root 2 with the first term here, 3, we're going to get 21 root 2. And then 7 root 2 multiplied by minus root 2 is going to be minus, and we've got 7 times root 2 times root 2. Well, root 2 times root 2 is going to be 2, and then it will be 7 times 2, which is 14. And then on the bottom here, we're going to have 3 times the 3, which is 9. Then we're going to have 3 times minus root 2, which is minus 3 root 2. And then we start with the root 2 multiplied by 3, so that's plus 3 root 2. And then finally we've got plus root 2 multiplied by minus root 2, which is going to be minus root 2 times root 2 is just simply 2. We'll extend that line there. So cleaning this up, what have we got? Well, we'll keep the 21 root 2 minus 14 on top. And on the bottom, you can see we've just got 9 take away 2, 7, because minus 3 root 2 and plus 3 root 2 gives us 0 there. Now I can factorize the top. I can see that 7 is a common factor, so I've got 7 multiplied by 3 root 2 minus 2. So we divide that by 7, and what happens? Well, those two 7s cancel now. 7 is a common factor. So we've got this now in the form that we required, b root 2 plus c. In other words, we've got 3 root 2 minus 2. If we were asked to state what b was, b would be 3, and what is c? Well, c would be minus 2. We're adding minus 2, and that would be our two integers. Okay, so I hope that's given you an idea on that question, if you found problems.